She was a 27-year-old Australian beautician who just touched down for a beach holiday on the island of Bali. The customs officer said, whose bag is, whose boogie board bag? I said, it's my boogie board bag. Inside that bag, officials at Denpasar Airport found more than four kilos of marijuana. And I swear, by God is my witness, I did not know the marijuana was in my bag. Throughout her 2005 trial, Chappelle Corby maintained her innocence. Her lawyers argued that drugs were planted, possibly by airport employees involved in drug trafficking. I believe for seven months, which I've already been imprisoned, is severe enough punishment for not putting locks on my bags. What Corby called a simple mistake turned into a 20-year sentence when a panel of three judges decided they didn't buy Corby's story. The sentence, well short of the life term prosecutors had called for and the maximum penalty, death by firing squad. The trial, heavily covered by Australian media, who scrutinised every twist and turn, often overwhelming Corby and her family. Corby's sentence sparked outrage across a country that largely believed she'd been set up and stoked fears that other young Aussies headed to Bali and other tourist hotspots across Southeast Asia could be next. I'm sorry, Paul. I'll give her all the support we can. I'm not going to leave her stuck there for 20 years. It's insanity. Fears that were reinforced with the 2006 conviction of the so-called Bali Nine, a group of young Australians jailed in connection with trying to smuggle eight kilos of heroin off the island. Indonesian authorities continue to defend their justice system. Corby spent around nine years behind these walls at Bali's Karobakan prison, with regular visits from her sister, Mercedes, and her mother, continuing to maintain her daughter's innocence. Why would you admit to something that's not yours. After exhausting courtroom appeals, Corby appealed for clemency after a medical exam diagnosed her as suffering from acute depression with psychotic symptoms. And in 2012, Indonesia's president issued a decision that shaved five years off Corby's 20-year sentence and laid the foundation for her parole application. And while some Indonesians have accused the authorities of giving Corby's case special attention, the country's justice and human rights minister says She's being treated the same as everyone else. Simon Morsin, CNN, Bali, Indonesia.